a decade of the space age. Scientific research institutions implementing the program for the exploration and conquest of space took part in making this film. Script by Yevgeny Ryabchikov. Photography, Sevalod Afanasyev, Igor Kasatkin, and Vladimir Suvorov. With acknowledgments to the National Film Fund. three-stage Vostok carrier rocket arrived at the Cosmodrome. will pass, but April 12, 1961 will always be remembered. Everything was in readiness at the launching site. The epoch baking hour had arrived. Gagarin and Titov were on their way together to the Cosmodrome. Should the need arise, the backup man would replace his friend. Gagarin was full of energy, in good humor, and in good spirits. first strides into the unknown were about to be made. And then what? Then man would conquer solar space and acquire might and boundless power over nature.
the rocket stood poised. Was it hazardous? Yes, it was. But he was prepared for the task. Cedar, this is dawn one. How am I coming through? Over. Attention. A minute countdown. Academician Korolev, the chief designer, wished the astronaut a happy landing. Gagarin was out in space, and the Earth could see him. All this was being done for the first time. The flight itself, Cosmovision, the pictures of the stellar world, and the view of the Earth from space. Gagarin stayed in space 108 minutes. He touched down near Saratov on the Volga. This first flight in space proved conclusively that man could live and work there. The Soviet government and the Communist Party declared, we regard the victories scored in the conquest of space as an achievement not only of our people, but also of all mankind. We gladly place them at the service of all nations in the name of progress and the happiness and welfare of all people on Earth. in all lands as the hero who blazed the trail to the stars. The world applauded as citizen of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. <laughs> <laughs> 